this is Cindy Pope. I'm um, creating this video in order to show you an alternate way to the subtract method for creating embossed or relief standing up textures with your metal clay using the Amy Chomas Blunt Etcher. Sometimes the subtract method um, can tax your computer and crash it. There's lots of lines in the hatch marks that you create. So I'm going to give you a couple other options that um, are fairly new um, and a different way instead of subtracting to create the same effect. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a square. Then I'm going to use the function for um, doing lettering. It's in the left hand screen. It's the little a. I'm going to type um, the word love. And you'll see we're in word processing mode when you can see that teal bar. So I'm going to space it out a little bit. And if your font is very thin in some parts, you might want to do an external offset to make the entire word thicker. I'm going to change the font to Bolton. I really like Bolton. It's nice for this type of thing. And then I'm going to decrease the size so it fits in the box. I'm going to select both boxes, the love box and the square. And I'm going to choose object align center middle to get it right in the center. And then I'm going to make them both a compound path. I'm going to duplicate it because I'm going to show you two ways. One is for your Curio users and one is going to be for your portrait and Cameo users. We're going to go down to the new Emboss Fill window for the Curio users. And I'm going to show you there's four different options. I really like this swirl one. So you can fill using that. And you'll see the letters, because you made it a compound path, the letters are open. There's also a crosshatch, which is going to give you a very similar look to the one Sabine showed in her wonderful video. And you want to release the emboss once you've got it where you want it. And this one, we're going to use the sketch functions, which is how Sabine did it. But since we've made this a compound path, we're not going to need to do the subtract. You can choose a crosshatch or the grill, which is what Sabine used. Um, you want to take the spacing down as close together as possible. You see it's not as close as you got on the curio fill. And then I want to change um, using the sweep. I'm going to add a crosshatch on that. And the extra step you need to do for this is you need to um, take the actual sketch that you've created and make it bigger. And then you release the sketch. And then you take the size down and the little hatch marks will get closer together. And so those are two different ways with the two different types of machines to create a fill and an embossed look. And your um, Amy Chomas um, blunt etching tool is going to do a lovely job on this. Mm -hmm.